Hi everyone, this is Gina. Welcome back to my channel and welcome my new subbies. Hey guys, I did something a little different this time. Um, I got my um, dyes from Coco Rosa Studios.com. I am uh, working with them again. And I got these dyes on Tuesday. And today is Saturday. Happy Saturday and happy weekend, everyone. So I picked up four dyes that I'm on in. And also, um, I'm going to add the project shares. Um, I went, uh, as soon as I got them, I was like, oh my God, I got to work on them. Because these dyes were a lot of fun to create. Um, so I made all four cards. And one is like a pocket card. So um, the very first die I chose, I took them all apart. Um, this is a lemon set dies. So this is the lemon set dies. I love this set. And then this one is called cobweb spider background die. Um, I did cut this apart as well. There's a spider web. I was thinking about mm, shaker card, but I didn't. Um, so this is a spider web frame. And then this creepy spider. Okay, and then I got this beautiful, beautiful border die. It's called Wave Lace Border Die. It's so pretty. I love the stitching, I mean the bubbles. And yeah, it's a really awesome die that I wanted. And then the very last die, it is Waves and Piano Border Die. So this makes a folder. You don't have to if you don't want to. Also, you can use this and make a shirt um, and cut it. You know, if you want to go ahead and cut and make a shirt, like a, a men's shirt, put a necktie on it, you can do that. Uh, but here are the keyboards. I've been loving the piano theme dies. Um, so I got that one. Okay, so first I'm going to share the very first die that I worked with which oops, which is this one i started on this one first which is the spider web background die i did use both of them of course and then i made a boot card <laughs> a halloween card so this is what it looks like did i decorate the inside let me see y'all oh no 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 this is the face of the card um, I did not make the card, just made like the face of it and then the inside. Yeah. So this is it. I had this stash, um, sentiment stash in my stash. It says here for the booze, which is really cute. I cut it out with a black cardstock. I also had like a um embossed spiderweb cardstock from Michaels. Um, so I used that in the background and then I, these are stickers from last year. Um, I think I got it from Tuesday morning or something. I don't know. Um, but these are a happy ghost and then the spooky ghost that I added on all each side. And then I cut this spider web out once. And then um, you poke all of these out. And then it forms a spider web. I had a like a doily spider web, um, like a holographic. Um, or silver paper, or silver uh, die cut, and I put that behind um, here for the booze. And then I added some enamel dots here, and I added some bling stickers here, which is the black part right here, if you guys can see that. And the cardstock that I used for the cutout, it's like a silver um, cardstock, black and silver cardstock. And then what I did, when it, oh yeah, I also had this bat sticker here. So I added the bat sticker using my hot glue gun. And then I cut two spiders out and kind of lifted the legs, the feet of it to get a little bit of dimension. And then I added one here and then I added one here. So this is it. And then the back of it, I did a pretty simple. I cut out another black and silver cardstock. And then, um, I cut out this frame and then I had the same spider web doily here and then add a sentiment trick or treat and then I added some bling 
uh, at the, each corner over here, and then the enamel dots. So this is my first one that I work with. Okay, and then the second one that I played with, which is this one, which is the Waves Piano Keys Border Die. I love this. Um, now, I had to cut this out a few times. Um, the first time it cut, it did not cut it all out. But when I kept using it, no, I cut it more than that. I tried three or four times and it finally got cut out and I was super happy, easily cuts, love it. So this one, this is what I made, which is this one. And I made it as a, like a Christmas theme. Um, I did use, and I made a, like a folder here. Um, so here are the keys. I kind of like messed up a little bit here with the glue, but a black card glitter card stock and then i use this really pretty white color card stock glitter card stock and then i went ahead and glued it down i have some glue on the outside apologize for that and then i i cut out a strip of the same white glitter card stock here and then um, i had the fa la la in my stash i went ahead and cut it in black and what the same paper here for the background and then the fa la la and then i had this really pretty um blingy um jemmy sticker that i got from hobby lobby and i just wanted to put it all the way around to the edge and make it sparkle and then here yeah i did something silly um i went i finally got my um my um colored um ink for my printer but anyways what i did i cut this out of black car stock for the background and then the same white glitter car stock and i printed out you know um some music sheets but i had to cut it because this is pretty small so i wanted to let it fit so um i cut these out and then i went ahead and stuck it in there um and then another one here to make like a piano folder Christmas this is so pretty I like it I love the way it came out I just love that blingy <laughs> but very nice die I love it and then the very the third card is this one which is the wave lace border die that I used and then I made this okay so this is the card that I made so I, I can't remember what, uh, is it Sil Silent Night collection from Hobby Lobby? I use all of the papers except the white cardstock. Um, I then use 110 pound white cardstock. And then I use the, um, like a peachy pink shimmery paper in the middle. And then I cut this paper out. I'm, I'm gonna show you what the inside looks like. And then um, I've added some uh, jammy stick uh, bling here. And then I had to glue down the ribbon and then I made a little knot and I also put a little blingy in the middle of the bow. And then I cut this die out four times of different, the, the same collection, but different car saw paper. And one is a, um, is that same paper that I cut out with that. But I went ahead and layered that four times added a holographic paper along with the uh, peachy pink uh, shimmer paper in the middle. And then, yeah, and then I had this in my stash. I went ahead and cut it out with a cardstock and then added the sticker here. Well, it's not really a sticker, but it's a sentiment. Um, and it says Christmas cheers. And then when you open it up, like I said, I glued down the um, the ribbon, and then I used the same the car stock with that. That way, it could be blended together. And this is what it is. I didn't really want to decorate it because I like the way it showed like this. So yeah, so that is my fourth card for Coco Rosa, and the very last card. This is what I worked on today, um, which is a lemon set dies. I love, 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 love this set. So this is what I did. I used again from Michaels. Um, I forgot what the paper pad is called, but I used the paper in the background. I used a green glitter cardstock. Um, 
I and then I used the uh the yellow <laughs> cardstock paper as well. I layered this a few times, four times, and then I added the um, patterned paper, which it's kind of gold foiled lemon paper. And then what I, I did not decorate the inside. I just wanted to finish this up. So it's just the front page, front of the card. And then from the same paper pack with this one, I cut out a square. And then um, I take the uh, sentiment, you are the author of your own story. Very cute. And I also added two yellow blingy um, enamel dots here. And then I added one there. And then I had a frame die cut or a die, and then I cut that out with the uh, green glitter cardstock. I cut the lemons. The only thing I didn't use is this one. Um, but I used everything else from that set. And I also cut out a white cardstock, 110 pound for the background. Um, and then uh, I cut out a yellow cardstock. And then um, and I had put together also, I cut out a green, just a regular green car saw paper and this emb uh, embosses right here. So um, those are the, all the leaves, which are three leaves. I cut them all out and use them all. I cut it out like many times, <laughs> four times um, of each. And um, I added um, just a green car stock and then the glitter car stock. And then um, here, and then I added these leaves and this and this all four of uh, the uh, frame. And then I had the same collection from Michaels that I used um, as well. And then yeah, I mean the leaves. I love the leaves, uh, of course. But um, this is my lemon zesty card that I made. So that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. And I will also have my coupon code in the description down below um, and the link to CocoRosaStudios.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Love y'all. Bye.